Alright, I can't contain my excitement much longer. This episode 15 trailer looks insane and I cannot wait for it. But welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about the trailer we got for The Walking Dead Season 9 Episode 15 titled The Calm Before. Even the title is just amazing. But with that being said, we're going to break it down shot by shot, go through the entire trailer with you guys. So with that being said, let's get started. So the trailer opens up with King Ezekiel signing the charter that Tara brought him earlier this season in that flashback sequence we had. And he lays down the charter and he signs it and he lay and he hands the pen over to the next person. So like all the leaders are probably gonna sign it. Tara, uh, pro Tara's probably gonna sign it for Hilltop. Michonne obviously for Alexandria. Uh, Sydney for Oceanside and so on. This trailer also has some emphasis on King Ezekiel, and if that means what I think it means, I am very worried and very sad. But he's up there for my Pike predictions. But still, you know, as much as we kind of see stuff coming, I just don't want it to happen. Also, at the end of episode 14 last night, when the Alexandrians came to the hilltop, we saw those whispers in the bushes, and one of them said, "We have to tell Alpha," so we know they're coming. And you know, so it looked like Lydia. It looks like Lydia can now be trusted 100%. So. At first, people were kind of thinking maybe Lydia told her and we just didn't know, but now we know Lydia did it and those whispers were following them. Next, we got King Ezekiel giving a speech at the fair and he's saying like, you know, I stand before you here today at the start of a new tomorrow. And he's standing up here and we have a Shiva right next to him, which I absolutely love. And again, that's what I mean. A lot of emphasis. Not, I mean... It depends how you want to look at it. I kind of see there's a lot of emphasis on him, and I'm going to talk more about it throughout the trailer. But again, it is his community. It is his kingdom. So it would make sense for him to be the one to, you know, give the speech. And while King Ezekiel is giving the speech, we have all the people from all the communities here. And I love this shot so much because... This is definitely similar to a shot from the comics, and it's so cool how they're bringing not only storylines to life, but actual pages and art to life. It's so cool. But yeah, take a gander at all these people, because some of these people are going to end up getting piked most likely. You know, we got a lot of secondary characters there in the back. Uh, we got some primary ones in the front. And I believe in the comics, it was 12 people who got piked. And honestly, I think it would be pretty cool if they showed this a lot more, just for it to hit harder with fans. And, you know, that I mean, the, the, the Walking Dead TV show has a humongous cast, so I wouldn't be surprised if they do a bigger one, I'm saying. Um, but yeah, you know, this is, I'm sure throughout the episode, they're going to have a lot of emphasis on certain characters who are going to end up, you know, going at, during at the end of the episode. Because I am assuming the Pike lineup is going to be at the end of this episode. Because episode 16 is actually titled The Storm, which we're going to probably get snow in that episode, which, oh my goodness, I cannot wait for that, first of all. I mean, we're actually getting snow. As good as this season has been, they're going to end it off with snow something walking dead fans have always been asking for like it's amazing so yeah the two episode titles kind of go hand in hand you know episode 15 the calm before episode 16 the storm so the calm before the storm so that's what i mean like episode 16 is going to be i think i'm assuming it's going to be like the aftermath of the fair and uh, that's why i kind of think the end of this episode is going to be the reveal i mean the emphasis on king ezekiel is insane in the trailer maybe i'm looking into it too much i don't know but we got him kissing Carol here, and then we got the people leaving the fair, actually, not going into the fair. This is probably going to be towards maybe the end of the episode. But look at what Daryl's wearing. He's wearing a pretty big jacket, you know, bigger than his usual um, vest and stuff. So it probably is getting pretty cold out there, and it'll be pretty cool if we also see some uh, snow in this episode. And if Rick Grimes was here, he'd be wearing that iconic Rick Grimes jacket. But he's not. No, I'm just kidding. It's okay. But, um... Yeah, this is interesting because they're leaving the fair, and I think they're leaving because of a threat from the Whispers, I believe. And I'm going to talk more about that in a little bit because they are going to encounter the Whispers, most likely at the end of this episode, which we see in the trailer. Uh, but we see uh, you have King Ezekiel, you know, uh, holding on to Henry, and they're waving goodbye. Again, too much em emphasis on King Ezekiel, man. I'm just... I feel like maybe I'm looking into it too much, but I, I'm I'm just worried for my boy Ezekiel. And then continuing that scene of Daryl and those people leaving the fair, we have him uh, in the woods here and those people behind him, and there looks like they're meeting Ozzy here. And Ozzy and the Highwaymen, their job is to protect the streets of, um, you know, around the kingdom because that's what carol made a deal with them and their job is to you know make sure the streets are secured and you know no, they, they have no issues or anything like that so i'm sure ozzy might be telling them about the whispers and maybe the whispers are gonna come um and you know what what i think would be really crazy is if 
the whispers kill like all the highwaymen and only Ozzy remains and he calls them for help because I do feel like in a way that the highwaymen like their purpose some of the like at least the majority of them is to be like pike holders you know maybe Ozzy is gonna stick around because you know he's like the, the leader but I wouldn't be surprised if what I'm saying is of all the highwaymen get slaughtered by the whispers and then only Ozzy remains that's all I'm saying like I wouldn't be surprised and that's what could be happening here you know, maybe Ozzy, you know, all the highwaymen got hurt or killed or something, and then they're calling for help because that is what their job is to protect the streets of, you know, the kingdom. So maybe they saw some trouble, they saw some bad stuff happening, and they called for help. And then at the end, towards the end of the trailer is, I'm assuming it's going to be like probably towards the end of the episode also. We have Daryl, Carol, Michonne, Yumiko, and some people here in the woods. And I think this is going to be like, you know, definitely towards the end of the episode where they're going to meet the whispers and then it's going to, you know, lead into them probably, you know, finding the pike lineup, the mortar. Also, take a look at this whisper right here. I mean, here's a better shot of him. He's putting his gun up at, you know, probably there on them. But that that mask looks way different than any mask we've ever seen before. It looks like almost a fresh mask. Like, could this possibly be somebody we know? I mean, could it be Luke? Could it be Jerry? I mean, because the hair is pretty long also. That's why I'm assuming it's going to be one of them. But I don't know. There's something definitely up with this mask and the fact that they put this whisper in the trailer. I, like I said, maybe I'm looking into it too much, but I feel like everything has a purpose here. And I feel like there was there's a reason why this whisper is the one they put you know, up at the front of the camera. And yeah, that mask is a mask that we've never seen before. And I feel like this could definitely be the mask of somebody, you know, they killed. Because I do believe the Whispers already did the Pike lineup, but they're just waiting for them to discover it. Because in this little exchange between Daryl, Alpha, Beta, and them, they have like, kind of like Daryl's, like Beta's kind of making like an agreement and telling them to like, you know, nobody else has to die. Like there's no more, you know, we don't have to do this. So I feel like this is them kind of threatening them and then they're going to let him go and then they're going to discover over the pike lineup on their own which is going to be just horrific because in the trailer beta literally says no one else had to die so i'm assuming what's going on here at night they already did the lineup and now they're just kind of threatening them and getting prepared like basically preparing them for the lineup and you know bringing them saying like, you know what you guys need to chill out you know you guys can't be coming into our lands anymore nobody else had to die and they're basically just telling them that they killed a bunch of their people and then when they let them go they're gonna discover it on their own here's an interesting shot of everybody surrounded by dead walkers i don't know this is a very interesting shot because i want to know how they got themselves in this position like were they just cornered and then they just threw walkers at them i don't know it's just a little funny but um yeah this is th this this scene i mean this is gonna be very intense and like everybody is just super close to one another there's like a ton of whispers and i'm just fucking scared also the second part of what beta was saying in the trailer he said no one else had to die now that deal is done so again i'm pretty sure they are gonna just be telling them that we killed some of your people don't be messing with us or we're gonna kill more the end of the trailer literally like had me so anxious because i was like what the hell is gonna happen because it's just like nobody's saying anything we have daryl here looking into the eyes of alpha with her you know she's just like staring into his soul and she has her shotgun pointed at him and there's no dialogue no nothing daryl just turns around and nods at Carol. So again, I think what's happening here is that them, they're threatening them, saying that, you know, we killed your people. Don't come into our lands anymore. Don't mess with us. Give us Lydia back. And or we're going to kill more. And then Daryl has no choice but to accept. And then he turns around and says, OK, we're going to do it and tells everybody like, you know, we have to do this. That way they're going to let him go. And then they're going to discover the, the whisper border because they're surrounded. I just showed that shot of them literally surrounded by, you know, a bunch of whispers. So if they wanted to, they could all die right here. But I'm sure Alpha and Beta want them to agree to their terms and Daryl's going to have no choice but to agree and that's going to let him go. But yeah, this trailer is intense. And also um, what I noticed is that the group that is in Countered by the whispers, King Ezekiel isn't there. It's pretty much the same core group that was at the graveyard. So those people are all safe pretty much. Um, and then also towards the beginning of the trailer, when King Ezekiel and Henry were waving goodbye to those people leaving, you know, the fair, that could have potentially been the last time they saw one another. And that's what I mean. This trailer had a lot of emphasis on King Ezekiel. And I think at this point, I'm going to be more surprised if he survives than if he doesn't. But yeah, these next two episodes look to be fucking huge. And oh my goodness, what, something else I noticed is that The Walking Dead is getting a lot of good publicity right now. And if these next two episodes are freaking amazing, like I'm, I'm assuming they are going to be, um, you know, The Walking Dead can get a lot of good publicity. And then I think that would make people who left the show want to watch it. 
and they'd probably like binge it on Netflix or buy it on Amazon, rent it or something, and they would probably binge it and they would see how good season nine has been. And I think that could potentially lead to a raise in ratings for season 10, which I think would be really interesting if the Walking Dead ratings go up. I think that would be really cool. But yeah, that is where the trailer ends for episode 15. And man, this episode looks to be great and I can't wait for it. But with that being said, I am gonna wrap it up there. Let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts and opinions about episode 15 in the trailer and what did you think about it. I'm very interested to hear. And I am going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. Also, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with anything new and all new videos because we got a, we got a lot of content coming out today and the rest of the week because these next two weeks specifically is going to be pretty big for the Walking Dead. So hit that subscribe button for daily Walking Dead content. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later.